Welcome back to the Will Go channel. I'm your host and self-appointed Go Evangelist, James Story. Today's video is on capturing race, capturing races, and Seki. We're going to give an intro to these. They are related, and so that's why they're in the same video here. Seki can also be translated into English as dual life. It's when both sides are alive. So um, uh, let's get to it here. We'll take these guys off. So here in this side of the board right here, you can see the cut. The black and the white stones are cut apart. You can also see that both of these stones with a dot on them, both of them are in Atari. So a capturing race is simply each side trying to capture the other, and it's a race to see who captures first. So obviously in this situation, if black gets to move first, they will capture the white stone. And if white gets to move first, they will capture the black stone. And that's really the simple definition of a capturing race. So let's look here. So here, there's the cut again. Notice that the white stone has two liberties and the black stone has two liberties. These stones here, these black stones and these white stones are strong because they connect to a lot of liberties outside. But these two are on the edge of the board and one of them is going to get surrounded and captured. If it's black's turn, they can play here and put the white stone in Atari. And when white Atari's here, black can capture the white stone. Or if it's white stone, white's turn, they can play here and put the black stone in Atari. And then uh, when black plays here, Black, white can capture the black stone. However, that's not the best move for either of them, really, in this situation. Let's say it's black's turn. Notice that both stones have two liberties, but when black moves out here, now they have three, don't they? If white plays here, now they have two liberties. White has two liberties. Now black would come back and capture the black stone. But notice black got to push a little bit more into this side. White didn't get this point because they're sitting on it because black played there. White can't... Um, uh, White can block here and make black pick up, black, white, black, white, black, but they can't try this because notice they have three, three liberties and black has three liberties. And when the lib number of liberties are equal, then whoever's turn it is first gets to move, whoever has sente. So if black plays here, they can reduce white to two liberties. Black will have three, so white, so black can pick up first. However, they can still just keep extending out uh, because every time they extend out, and white extends out, uh, they get the same number of liberties, don't they? And so when, whenever black needs to, they can play here. Now they've reduced to white to three liberties. Black, uh, they reduce, uh, black has four liberties, and so black will win that capturing race because black has more liberties. If the same, if it's the same number of liberties, like um, uh, this situation here or this situation, or this situation, we see that whoever goes first captures in the capturing race. So let's look at this situation over here. All right, let's take this stone out for a second. Okay, so black has three liberties, white has three liberties, here's the cut. So these stones are going to get captured, or these stones are get ca going to get captured. And it's, once again, according to Sente's, who it captures. If white gets to go first, they can play any of these three uh, points, and they reduce black to two liberties, while the white stones still have three. So it would go something like this, this, Atari, black Ataris, and then white captures these black stones, and then these three white stones are out, uh, get more liberties, don't they? So if we go back here and um, back to, whoops, not that far, that far back. Here we go, back to here. All right, once black or white plays, then it doesn't, it's not helpful for the other side to play, to take to take away a liberty because it just brings about the, the capture of their own stones, doesn't it? So what, what white should do in this situation since they're behind in the Liberty race, two to three, is they should wait and leave this as a co-fight. If um, uh, a co-fight develops, black can use this as a co-threat, not a co oh, yeah, a co-threat. So uh, now they would reduce black, or they could play here, here, it doesn't matter. They would reduce black to two liberties, so now each side has two liberties. So now whoever plays next is going to win the co-fight. If black fills the co, then white gets to go in again and capture the black stones. If black uh, well, they'll be ahead in the capturing race then. They haven't captured them yet, right? Let's say that happens, and now white's ahead in the capturing race. Um, later, black could use uh, this as a, as a co-threat, couldn't they? They could play there, and now white has to decide, do they pick these stones up and capture these and save these, or do they uh, fill the co? So um, we'll look over here in the corner real quickly. This is called Seki, or dual life. So here... 
here's the cut, right? So these stones are cut apart from these stones. These stones are cut apart from these stones. These white stones are strong. They have a lot of liberties. These black stones are strong. They have a lot, a lot of liberties. But the black stones in the corner and the white stones right here are each reduced to two liberties. Notice that neither one can capture the other because when white plays here, plays here, it's a self-atari, isn't it? And black will capture. Or if black plays here or plays here, it's a self-atari and, and white will capture. So neither, this is called dual life. And if it's left at the end of the game, nobody gets any points for this area here. Uh, however, each of these sides can use this as a co-threat, can't they? Black can play a co-threat here. If white fills the co, then black can come back and pick up the white stones. If white captures the black stones, then white, um, then black gets to retake the co. Over here, we have a situation where black has one, two, three, four, five liberties, and white has one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five. So it is uh, alive or dead according to Sente. Now, in a capturing race, what you want to do is start from the outside, reduce the outside liberties, and then reduce the inside liberty. For example, if it's black's turn and they go first and they play here, they reduce white to four, but they also reduce their own, excuse me, that's not there. Let's start over here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, uh, so if black or, if it's black or blacks or whites turn and they play the inside liberty, then they reduce themselves to the same number as, as their opponent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But then it's their opponent's turn and um, uh, the opponent can capture first. So the general rule in a capturing race is you fill in the outside liberties first and then the inside liberty. So if it was Black's turn, they'd do something like this. They would go from here, white here, black here, white here, black here, white here, black here. Not here, right? Because that's self-atari. Black here. And then white plays here, and then black plays there and captures the white stones. So once again, in a capturing race, you fill in the inside liberties, the liberties that both sides share before or after you fill in the outside liberties. So once again here, well, look at those stones just want to go everywhere. So once again, here's the inside liberty that's common to these stones and these stones that are both weak and going to be captured one or the other. And these are the outside liberties for black, and these are the outside liberties for white. So you fill in the outside liberties first, and then finally the inside liberties. Okay, once again, if you liked what you saw today, please give us the thumbs up. Please subscribe. You can find us on Facebook. You can contact us at theworldgochannel.com. We have a number of playlists. If you're new to the World Go channel, we suggest you use the playlist Lessons in Logical Sequence, as some lessons are based on knowledge gained in prior lessons. So that's the logical sequence. Anyway, thanks again for watching the World Go channel. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.